Warby Parker, HubSpot, Drift, and Goodreads. In the after hours of some of the fastest growing companies, employees are gathering around a table doing something people have been doing for centuries. They're not on their phones. They're not rushing out to clock out at five. They're participating in a book club. Book clubs have long been a low cost way to boost employee engagement, promote innovation, and build camaraderie. And the best part is, getting started is super easy. So without further ado, here's the how and why of workplace book clubs. Everybody comes to work every day to work, but if you give people an opportunity to step away from their desk and sit down and talk with their coworkers about something other than their day to day, it helps really connect people and um, create a stronger culture and create better camaraderie within your organization. That's Kristen, our wonderful people ops manager, and she helped create the monthly book club at our organization a few years ago to give people more face time with others around the company. Now, you may be thinking that there are many ways to do this that aren't book related, but Kristen said something that really stood out to me. We were reading Trevor Noah's Born a Crime and... It was about his upbringing and about his childhood and everybody in the room kind of brought up different points about their upbringing and their experiences. Um, and I thought that was just really cool. Even, you know, I learned something new from my own manager. I worked for Jackie for, you know, over two years now. And it was just so neat to hear about people and their upbringing and how it's kind of shaped them to be who they are now, being an employee here, um, and then just being a person in general, you know, how that's, how that's shaped their lives. Those kinds of vulnerable conversations build trust, which creates a healthier, more engaged culture. Have I convinced you to start a book club yet? Okay, one more thing, and then I'll give you the steps to launch one. Leadership manifests itself in a lot of really small ways, and leading a book club is even a small way in which you can practice leadership and so for me it was an opportunity to just lead in a really small way um, which is always something that that I'm looking to do. That's Thad, Senior Director of Marketing who led a book club a few months ago. He and many others think that hosting a book club is a great way to build yourself as a leader and this is because the role is all about creating conversation and active listening. It fosters empathy through hearing other perspectives, gives practice in facilitating discussions, and builds conversational soft skills. Okay, so we've talked about how book clubs increase engagement and build leadership. Now let's get into the good stuff. How to create a book club at your organization. There are nine steps in total, so please stay with us. First, let's get the easy, obvious stuff out of the way. You'll wanna assign a point person, maybe someone in your people ops department, who ensures the book club happens every month. And then, of course, choose a space or a room for the book club to be held and book it for a monthly recurring meeting. I'd personally recommend a table where everyone is facing everyone else. Last on the obvious list is to tell everyone there is a book club. We use a combination of Slack and email for this, but also maybe bring it up at an all hands meeting or hang little bulletins, anything to push for awareness. Okay, so you've launched the book club. Now let's plan the content. The trickiest part of this is choosing a book. You want one that piques everyone's interest, which can be challenging in a world of ultra curated content, but I have some tips for you from Kristen. Starting with a book that relates to your company or to your core values or something that everyone in the company can relate to is a great place to start because everybody is an employee at your organization and um, they were attracted to come work for you because of your core values, of your mission, um, of your workforce. So you can find um, a very good common ground if you start from that um, a place of having a business-related book, I would say. Starting business-related can be a safe way to get everyone involved. And I promise you, there are some exciting business books out there too. I'll link some in a blog post that I'll put in the description. Next, you'll need to pick a host for the month. And this can go hand in hand with picking a book. At PI, we choose facilitators by throwing it out there in the book club Slack channel. And just say, hey, who wants to host book club? And they pick a book, They everybody in the book club Slack channel votes on what book they want to read. Um, and, and then, you know, we pick a book and then ask who wants to host it and, and then somebody hosts it. So someone always steps up and says, yep, I'll do it. And you'd be surprised who steps up to the plate. Remember Thad? I've been going to book club for a long time and then I started reading this book called The Culture Code. And it was actually so compelling that I took the introduction from it and I made photocopies and gave it to a bunch of people. And then there just happened to be, randomly, an opening for book club. And 
I actually had a lot of tre trepidation and anxiety about raising my hand to host a book club, but I thought the book was so good that I really wanted to prod people to read it. And so I kind of backed into it that way. Thad was excited to share his book, and having a host that is passionate is a surefire way to get good discussions. Last step in this section is to buy the books for those interested, plain and simple. If you're a business on a budget, I have this nifty tip from Kristen. You could even start with articles if somebody has um, you know, a membership with Harvard Business Journal or a business journal like that, you can print out articles and share those with people. Um, so that's a much lower cost and still does the same thing. Okay, we're finally moving into the last section, hosting the discussion. The first step for this is having the host prep discussion points. A list of 10 or 12 questions that I thought were good open-ended questions that would get people talking. And the truth is, I didn't even have to use those 12 questions. The conversation just kind of happened really naturally. If you're a last minute Louie like me, you can usually find these discussion questions online. Next up, prep snacks. It's just an evergreen party trick that gets people to stay. And at our book clubs, we like to provide wine and cheese to make this gathering feel a little different than other meetings. Also, we just love cheese. Anyway, you've made it to the final step, so thank you for sticking with us this far. You'll be half surprised, half disappointed to know that the final step is to hold the actual meeting, but I've got some tips from the experts on this one to make sure yours goes off without a hitch. Off the top of my head, I think three traits that serve a book club leader really well are one, being passionate about the book. If you're trying to do a book club about a book that you don't care that much about, I can't imagine it's gonna go that well. Two, sharing vulnerable thoughts, um, I think really opens it up for conversation. Um, and then three, stepping back and letting other people fill the void when there's you know a, a moment of quiet. You don't even always have to be the person that talks, encouraging other people to participate in the conversation. And I think too what helps is having leadership in the room and sharing their personal experiences or even their professional experiences um, because I think um, you know, action through leadership, right? I think that seeing leaders open up and, and have an opportunity to be vulnerable and then hearing other people, current employees, even new employees share their own experiences, I think that creates a really um, kind of comforting environment where people can feel like they can bring up their own experiences or um, provide their own input. That's all the tips I have for this video. I'll link to our blog post down below for some book recommendations and a recap of this video that you can distribute. In the comments, let me know what you'd like to see out of this channel. What kinds of things would you like to learn about? Also, subscribe so that you know when we release videos each week. Good luck with your book clubs.